That's Mr. Clayton in his um, hospital room. He's having trouble breathing after a gastro procedure earlier that day. Is he going to die or anything? That's his, um, that's his wife, a UAB nurse who is in on the game. Okay. And that's Dr. Nancy Tofill, who presides over this student simulation contest, Sim Wars. We create a team of multidisciplinary students from respiratory, nursing, medicine, and pharmacy, and then create a clinically challenging case. Two teams, actually, and an audience of students and physicians votes on which team best handles Mr. Clayton's issues. This is not what you'd call book learning. Unlike a multiple choice test they take in school, this was actually a clinical scenario while they're standing on their feet, taking care of a patient in a team, just like they will for the rest of their life in clinical medicine. The teams had vital signs, lab results, and Mr. Clayton responded to whatever they did or didn't do. There wasn't just med students or pharmacy students. It was a team. Everybody had an active role in it, and I, I like that. Danielle, in fact, was the member of her team who first figured out Mr. Clayton's problem and steered them to the correct diagnosis. For the students, this was as close to real as it gets. This gives us a, an opportunity to be in charge, truly, of a situation and kind of start to get used to what it feels like to running a situation. Mr. Clayton's breathing issues were a side effect of medicine he received during his earlier procedure. Administering a drug called methylene blue saved the day. Both teams made the right call and Mr. Clayton recovered. The audience vote ended up in a tie, but every student up on stage was a winner. I think one, they walk away with a faster heart rate than they walked in with, which is very different than leaving a classroom.